ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is our Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the fourth day of April, and we have the risk of strong to severe storms across Alabama today. I guess not that surprising considering the date. Let's go to some sky cam shots early this morning. We'll begin with the uh, Walker County Courthouse view from uh, downtown Jasper, and you know that uh, building was in just total ruined almost, well, 34 years ago this morning. Uh, a big tornado hit downtown Jasper, including that building, in the uh, super outbreak, April 3rd, 4th, 1974. But we can be thankful for a, a calm morning, but things will be active later today. There's the uh, Huntsville sky cam, a little foggy and cloudy, and uh, thunderstorms not too far away from the Rocket City in uh, downtown Birmingham. We've got low clouds in place right now. On the water vapor satellite imagery, we've got a uh, trough off to the west. You can see convection there from southern Texas all the way up into, uh, uh, well, Detroit and Cleveland. Here's a look at the radar this morning as of uh, 5 o'clock. Thunderstorms are in uh, Tennessee and North Mississippi and then back into Arkansas and Texas. And We'll be dealing with, dealing with those later today. There is a slight risk of severe weather over just about all of Alabama today. And in terms of the uh, probability, the highest probabilities are for damaging wind. Uh, this is the chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of any given point. And you can see those uh, numbers peak at 30% across a pretty good uh, chunk of Alabama and Mississippi. And we also think we could see a few rotating storms today as well. There's the QPF chart. This is suggesting, uh, well, rainfall amounts of uh, almost 2 inches for parts of North Alabama. We think most spots will see anywhere from 1 to 2 inches with this thing over the next 24 to 36 hours. And that's a good part of this. Here's a peek at the action today coming off the OZGFS. The uh, trough is off to the west at the surface. We've got the uh, band of storms at midday on the GFS, uh, really about where they are now. The GFS might be a little slow with this. Uh, we think the action should begin this afternoon. Uh, tonight at midnight, the uh, band of storms is coming on through here. And there's a peek at the NAM, which looks almost identical, maybe a little faster. The NAM probably a bit closer to reality. Uh, at midnight, it's got the uh, core of the squall line just uh, east and south of Birmingham. Uh, but based on the fact that uh, the action is pretty close, uh, we'll probably nudge up the timing a little bit and go from noon to midnight now in terms of the greatest chance of severe weather. Uh, instability values, this is coming off the uh, GFS uh, this evening at 6 o'clock, and this is suggesting uh, decent numbers, not nothing to just overwhelm you. Uh, surface space capes of uh, over 1,000 joules along and south of a line from, say, uh, Vernon to Huntsville. And the helicity, yeah, we've got some. This is the 0 to 3 kilometer helicity. And the numbers there are peaking out over 350. And a little narrow band from uh, near Marion up to uh, Talladega in Gadsden. So there's no doubt we could see a few rotating storms that get out ahead of the main squall line. Uh, tomorrow at midday, this is back to the GFS. The, uh, uh, it's, it's pretty slow and moving it out of here. It might be a little bit too slow. Uh, it's got still raining at midday in places like Anniston and uh, Clanton, but we think the uh, showers should mostly be out of here by mid-morning. And then Sunday looks like a beautiful day. We'll be dry. Next week, let's take a peek. What do you say? There's a look at Monday. A little wedging trying to get going there down the uh, Appalachians, but that surface high is north of Maine. That's pretty far north, so we'll discount that. Tuesday, a strong short wave way north of here, and that develops a pretty tight surface low near Des Moines. And then Wednesday, the surface low moves north, the trailing front gets in here. And this would suggest we'll need to mention a chance of showers Wednesday. Right now we have it Tuesday night. But if uh, this looks that way on the 12Z run, we'll have to kind of hold it off until Wednesday. Thursday, here comes the big trough out west at the surface on Thursday. Uh, the Gulf wide open. The surface low with our new system forming over Texas. And then Friday, look at that. The whole thing rotates, the rotates through here in dynamic fashion. You know, just a few days ago, the GFS showed a ridge holding tight, deflecting that north. Well, the ridge is gone, and that looks like a severe weather threat at the end of next week, either late Thursday night or Friday. So, again, let's get through this thing tonight. We can feel more confident about what happens next week. But... I think an end-of-the-week system is pretty much on the table for sure. And then on Saturday the 12th, all of that is gone. 
Four days later, the 16th, this is that late season cold snap we've talked about. And again, on this run, the trough is not quite as deep as we have seen. That's a nice band of storms coming through here on the 17th. There's your trough. And again, the western ridge is not really pumped up to tap the uh, true Arctic air up there. So again, that suggests it will be sharply colder around April 17th, but maybe we'll get away without any uh, uh, risk of frost. But again, uh, that's out there in voodoo country. We'll be able to deal with that more specifically once we get within seven days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 today or so, if the weather allows, and that's a big if, and, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10, and throughout the day if, indeed, we do have severe weather problems today. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.